Networking component number five, resources. Always come prepared. When networking with others, be prepared to provide any number of online or offline business or personal resources designed to help others in their businesses and reach their goals. One of the hardest aspects of getting any business off the ground is locating the right resources to help you in the areas where you need it most. One of the biggest assets you have when you walk into any room to network will be your own pool of personal and professional resources. Share these resources with others. Assist them with solutions or give them a resource referral. Referrals can be very lucrative. Inquire about commissions if it seems appropriate. Taking the time to invest in quality business and personal resources is just another way for you to earn at a networking event. Who says you can't make money networking? Now granted, you don't have to make a commission every time you make a referral, but you know what I'm talking about. Hey, it doesn't hurt. So, that said, types of businesses that you might need to know about and have ready to refer when the opportunity presents itself. Now, professionals in your field may be people that you do not directly work with, but who share the same passions or career choice. These are people you can refer business services to, or personal services. Frequently, these referrals sometimes can generate commissions that pay a one-time fee or ongoing residual income depending on the type of business service that you refer. Suppliers you do business with might need your services or your help in spreading the word about what it is that they have to offer. Refer your clients and those you meet to your suppliers, your vendors, and collect a small commission or a discount off the services that you pay for. <laughs> For example, I referred so much business to a particular service provider once that I was never charged for their services that I used. I even received free accounts saving me hundreds of dollars per month. <laughs> okay. You know, it's important to remember commissions and dividends, you know, they don't always come in the form of cash payments. They sometimes come in the form of exchanged services, which have their own cash value. Over time, the value of these services can be quite substantial. Perhaps they are services that you need. You might opt to receive the services in exchange for referrals or services you can provide the vendor. While it isn't cash in your pocket, exchanging services saves you money. For example, clients. Ideally, you have built up a relationship of trust with your clients. Some may be able to assist you in other ways such as, again, sharing supplier contacts, supporters, referrals, etc. When you can help someone earn a commission, it adds more than cash to your bottom line. Coworkers. Typically, one will spend more waking hours with coworkers versus family and friends. Ask for referrals to dentists, doctors, contractors, mechanics, attorneys, locksmiths, etc. See how your networking world is continually evolving? Clubs or association members. If you are involved with any kind of community, professional associations, or activities, you have a ready-made network. Most people join these groups to meet other people. The door is already open. Refer businesses and personal service providers to them? Uh, it doesn't end. Volunteer groups. One of the more primary reasons people volunteer is to meet other people and to feel a part of something bigger than themselves. Get to know your fellow volunteers. Refer who you know, business and personal service providers, to them. Keep networking. Acquaintances. You know, we meet dozens of people at work, through social settings. Don't waste these opportunities to learn more about them, what they know, who they use for business or personal services, and share yours with them. Friendships often start out this way. Great networks thrive this way. Micro newsletters or blogs. Not that you got to go print an article off your blog. 
But if you did have something to share or distribute to give to people or direct them to on your website, etc., maybe a video channel that you have, some prospects will be genuinely interested in having more information about you. It should be professional, entertaining, newsworthy. <laughs> On the back of that printed material or somewhere on your website, again, you're going to provide a list of helpful resources that you can recommend. Provide their website, telephone number, contact information, maybe a short description of their services, maybe if you used them, how you used them, what you got out of it, how you were treated, etc. Referral business cards. Carry the cards of other businesses besides yours that you know and trust. When meeting someone for the first time, give them a card. It's a good idea to write on the back of each card, hey, referred by your name, so that the person remembers you and mentions you to the business. You always get back what you give out, so make sure you refer people that deserve the promotion. Other networking cards? It can be very helpful to carry a few 3x5 cards to explain what you do. These could even be generated on a quarter sheet of paper. So you have four cards or four flyers per sheet. This is especially suitable for businesses that often have complicated terms or concepts or need to be explained. Oh, here you go. Check this out. Here, read this. Provide definitions for those terms as well as a means to learn more. Key people. When emergencies strike and you need help, or someone you meet needs help, it's a good idea to have a list of these key contacts that you know and trust in your back pocket so you can share them with others. Nurture these relationships by sending them hey, greeting cards, saying happy birthday on their birthday, having lunch or contacting them periodically, in person or over the phone. This is important. Some of these key people you should have in your repertoire might be accountants, tax preparation experts, computer repair experts, dentists, doctors, graphic designers, hairstylists, investors, fundraisers, lawyers, attorneys, bank managers, loan officers, financial planners, insurance salesmen, locksmiths, mechanics, plumbers, publicists, vendors and suppliers, video and audio experts, virtual assistants, webmasters. Keep these names and telephone numbers handy and be ready to refer them, new business, to the people that you meet. They're going to appreciate that. When someone asks, hey, do you know of a good accountant? You will be prepared to say, I certainly do. Call my good friend, Anne. She can help you. Give her a call. Let's face it, most of us are either too passive or too aggressive in our business life. And we end up never getting the support, recognition, or respect that we want and need. These are challenges everyone faces, so when we can help each other, we feel empowered that anything really is possible. Now, recommended resource links. Do you have a list of recommended resource links on your website? Why not create a one sheet with some of those top 10 or 21 resources that you recommend? Then offer to hand them out to people who might find them valuable. I've done this in the past and people really appreciate the time and effort you put into something like this. Plus, they save so much time looking for resources that they never knew existed until you shared them with them. Make a list of all the company's software suppliers, supplies, vendors, and other resources you use that might be helpful to others if they had that list. Now, what can you add to what I've just talked about? Well, the effectiveness of each resource will vary depending on the way you use it in your business as well as your knowledge of that resource. With regard to your pool of resources, vendors, and service providers, who do you know that you can recommend to all the new people you plan to meet at networking events. Generate a good list of your people and hand it out. What a gift and a time saver for anyone who needs that kind of referral. Plus, as you network, listen. 
Listen to people's needs. Ask them where they're weak, what they need. Hey, can I help you? What, what's your biggest weakness? Oh, I don't know how to get on video. Oh, I don't know how to start a podcast. Oh, I don't know how to build a website. You know, whatever it is, ask. And as you accumulate these needs, wants, weaknesses, etc., you're going to go back home and create the perfect recommended resource links list. By offering something tangible like this, information worth keeping, people are going to remember you. In addition to that business card and that handshake, huh, most people are going to appreciate receiving this list of services that you recommend because it's going to help them take their business to the next level or answer a, a question they've been longing to answer for a long time. <laughs> mm. Do this. Create a recommended resource links one sheet it could be even like i said half a sheet quarter of a page just a few resources you don't have to give out 20 or 100 have the top five that you use hosting audio video legal marketing publicity social media any kind of tool you use hey if you are envious of my success or you admire my success Hey, here are the tools I use. Have at it. Here, go. Use. Mm. Awesome. Component number five, resources. 